Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring Iran, a country in the Middle East known for its rich history, diverse culture, and significant contributions to art, literature, and science throughout the ages. Iran, formerly known as Persia, boasts a civilization that dates back thousands of years. How did the commemoration of the Persian Empire's 2500 anniversary contribute to the downfall of the modern Iranian monarchy? Watch till the end to uncover the transformation of the former Persian Empire into the Islamic theocracy we now know as Iran. Iran is a large country located in Western Asia, covering over 636,000 square miles. It has a diverse landscape ranging from mountains to deserts. It can be divided into five main regions. The central plateau covers most of the country. Surrounding it are the Zagros Mountains to the west and south, the Alborz Mountains to the north, the Caspian Sea coast to the north, and the Persian Gulf coast and islands to the south. The most defining geographic feature is the Iranian Plateau, which covers over half the country, there are several mountain ranges across Iran, including the Alborz and the Zagros. It also has two major deserts, the dasht -e kavir and dasht -e lut Iran borders several bodies of water but has limited access. The Caspian Sea, the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman provide the country with around 1,700 miles of coastline. Large lakes include Lake Urmia and the Caspian Sea. The land of Iran has a long and storied history spanning thousands of years. In ancient times, it was home to civilizations like the Elamites, Medes, and Persians. The Achaemenid Empire, founded by Cyrus the Great around 550 BCE, was the first great Persian Empire and renowned for its tolerance and cultural diversity. After Persian rule was interrupted by Alexander the Great's conquests, the Parthian and Sassanian empires revived Iranian identity and Zoroastrianism. In the 7th century, Muslim Arabs conquered Persia, spreading Islam as the dominant faith. Medieval Iran was ruled by various Iranian and Turkic Islamic dynasties. The Safavid dynasty established Shia Islam as the state religion in the 16th century, leaving a significant cultural legacy. Reza Shah Pahlavi came to power in 1925 and established the Pahlavi dynasty. He enacted major economic and social reforms, aiming to modernize Iran along Western lines. However, he ruled in an authoritarian manner, suppressing political dissent. Reza Shah's son, Mohammad Reza, became king in 1941. He continued his father's modernization and pro-Western policies. In the 1950s, he nationalized the oil industry, reducing foreign control over this vital resource. However, the Shah's reforms were not enough to satisfy all elements of society. There was growing dissatisfaction with his autocratic rule, the unequal distribution of wealth and Western influence in Iran. A major event was in October 1971, when Mohammad Reza Shah held elaborate celebrations for the 2500th anniversary of the Persian Empire. The festivities were intended to showcase Iran's long history and cement Pahlavi rule. The Shah invited dignitaries from around the world to the week-long event in Persepolis which coincided with the Shah declaring Iran a hereditary monarchy. However, this opulent display of wealth and westernization proved deeply unpopular with the religious classes. It fueled the narrative of Ayatollah Khomeini and other revolutionaries who argued the Shah had squandered Iran's resources and heritage. Just eight years later, these resentments toward the Shah's lavish lifestyle played a role in the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Mass protests mobilized under Ayatollah Khomeini, a prominent religious leader living in exile. 
he tapped into anti-monarchical and anti-Western sentiments among the religious classes, merchants and students. As unrest paralyzed the country, the Shah fled Iran in January 1979. In February, Khomeini returned and was welcomed by millions of supporters. He established himself as supreme leader and oversaw the creation of the Islamic Republic. This marked a major shift from the Western-backed monarchy to a theocratic and populist state. The 1980s saw the devastating Iran-Iraq war causing major casualties and damage. Since the revolution, the country has seen political and social changes, tensions with the West over its nuclear program, and shifts in domestic policies. The majority of Iranians come from Persian ethnic stock, who account for around 60% of the population. Persian culture and language form the core of modern Iranian society. Other major ethnic groups include Azerbaijanis, Kurds, Lurs and Turkmen. There are also Armenian, Assyrian and Arab minorities. Iran has a long history of cultural synthesis between Persian and non-Persian groups. The dominant religion in Iran is Shia Islam, practiced by around 90 to 95 percent of Iranians. It was declared the state religion after the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Sunni Islam and Sufism are also present. Other religions include Zoroastrianism, Christianity, Judaism and the Baha'i faith. The national and official language is Persian. It is spoken and understood by most Iranians across ethnic lines. Many Iranians also speak additional local languages like Azeri, Kurdish, Luri and Balochi. Within these, numerous dialects exist. English is also taught widely in schools and universities. Iran has a large economy driven by its vast oil and gas reserves. However, economic progress has been hindered by years of international sanctions. Iran's economy was historically based on agriculture and trade. Oil was discovered in 1908 and by the 1950s had become the mainstay of its economy. However, mismanagement led to economic decline until reforms in the 1990s and 2000s. International sanctions imposed in 2006 and again in 2010 intended to curb Iran's nuclear program severely impacted the economy. Sanctions were lifted in 2016 following the nuclear deal, allowing for economic recovery. The oil and gas sector is critical, accounting for up to 50% of government revenues and 80% of foreign currency earnings. Manufacturing, agriculture and services are also major components. Iran has the world's second largest natural gas reserves and fourth largest proven oil reserves. It ranks second globally in natural gas production and fifth for oil production. Major exports are oil, petrochemicals and fruits and nuts. Iran is an Islamic Republic with an elected president and parliament. However, religious leaders control key institutions. The supreme leader, currently Ali Khamenei, has the final say in all matters of state and commands the armed forces. The hybrid system creates competing centers of power between religious bodies like the Guardian Council and elected officials like the President. Since the 1979 Islamic Revolution, Iran has been governed as a Muslim theocracy. The state actively promotes Islamic values, rejects Western cultural influence and seeks to export its ideological model abroad. Iran portrays itself as the leader of the Islamic world. In competition with Saudi Arabia's Wahhabi ideology, this fuels tensions between the two powers. They strengthen its influence by providing arms and aid to allied militias and groups in Iraq, Syria and Lebanon. In contrast, Saudi Arabia relies on its vast oil wealth to exert regional sway. Iran has an ancient culture rooted in the great Persian empires. Despite Arab, Turkic and Islamic influences, 
Iranians retain a strong sense of Persian identity tied to their history. The Persian language, which originated in ancient Persia, is a symbol of Iranian identity and key to its cultural unity. It became the prestigious literary language across much of Central Asia. Persian poetry by leaders like Rumi and Hafez deeply influenced the region. Magnificent architecture demonstrates the cultural creativity of past Persian empires. Imposing ruins like Persepolis, built by the ancient Achaemenids, showcase their engineering feats. Persian styles blended with Islamic influences produce stunning mosques and shrines. The Iranian New Year festival Novruz, rooted in Zoroastrian and ancient Persian traditions, is celebrated by Iranians as a symbol of national identity and renewal. Family gatherings, gift exchanges, feasts and public celebrations mark this joyous occasion. Iranians excel in arts like carpet weaving, calligraphy, music, cinema and poetry. The poetic tradition includes the Rubai form, perfected by Omar Khayyam. Here are some iconic Persian dishes you can taste in Iran. First up, tadig, is the epitome of crispy goodness. It's a crispy layer of rice found at the bottom of the pot. Fluffy, fragrant rice with a golden, crunchy base. Koresht e gourmet sabzi. This hearty stew celebrates fresh herbs like parsley, cilantro and fenugreek, cooked with tender lamb or beef and tangy dried limes. Cello kebab kubider is smoky, succulent skewers of minced meat, seasoned with spices like sumac and grilled to perfection. Served with saffron-infused rice, it's a divine fusion of flavors. And finally, Zeresk Polo is a fragrant rice with tart barberries paired with tender slow-cooked chicken or lamb. If you enjoyed this video on Iran, you'll love this next one.